Over the last two years, I've been producing a lot of videos for the Advanced Training Partnership, which is a distance learning program. We use a DSLR with a dedicated microphone on top of the camera to do the filming. We've got a green screen behind me and a bit of screen capture software to record the PowerPoint presentation. My name is Dylan Phillips and I'm a teaching fellow in IBERS Aberystwyth. We needed to make these videos because we were beginning a new distance learning program in IBERS and needed to find some way to record and capture um, lectures and tutorials and guidance to the student. We wanted to develop something that was also quite professional looking. So when it went out to the students, they would go, oh, that's a good way of delivering that information. I was watching some online lectures delivered on a free open source course and I really liked the way those lectures were delivered. So I was thinking, how can we reproduce this in Aberystwyth? So I did a bit of searching online and discovered that it was quite easy to set up the equipment um, in our office here and reproduce what I saw in that original lecture. I looked at a lot of YouTube videos of how to set up green screens, um, how to set the cameras up properly. And then I went out to purchase the equipment and stuck up the green screen on the wall with a bit of um, Velcro and went from there. I've had some problems when I've set up the green screen. Um, firstly, we found we had insufficient lighting, so I just put more lamps and more lighting in the office, which solved that problem. Um, another problem is, is when the green screen was delivered, it was quite creased and wrinkled. So I had to bring an iron in and iron it flat, which really helped to take out all the shadows and the dark patches off it, um, which really improved the quality of the video. I've also had some problems with the audio. So we found that the dictaphone is picking up a lot of noise from the table, like the mouse motions and everything. So we found a little bit of cheap foam really helped with that. The results we're getting now are very good. I feel we've got to a point where they look quite professional. The video is nice and crisp. You can see the slides and the speaker really clearly. The audio is nice and clear. And the important thing is as well, is that it's quite reproducible. So we find we can make many of these videos and keep a quite a consistent quality throughout. And looking back, we've come a long way. The students give us really good feedback about how they can connect to the lecturers far more. It's almost like they get to know us as tutors and lecturers on the courses now. And when we come to meet the students, they feel like they already know us as a tutor because they've watched so many of the videos. If I were to offer some words of advice to others thinking about um, including more media or producing more media for the lecture course, um, I would be really encouraging and say, although it's a bit daunting to start off with, the technology isn't really that difficult and it's really easily overcome many of the problems. And the, the thing I'd say is just try. Until you start trying and playing around, you're not gonna get anywhere. So take the first step and just start fiddling around and produce some simple recordings and then develop from there.